God unfolds a message about the future in three phrases. If you look at verse 19, look at verse 19 of Revelation 1. The Lord says specifically, write the things which you have seen, that's chapter 1, the things which are, that's the churches in chapter 2 and 3, and the things which will take place after that, that's chapter 4 on. That's the outline. This is one of the few books that contains an outline in the book. The book of Acts has it too. You shall be my witnesses in what? Jerusalem? Judea? Samaria? Yeah, see that's another self-outline book, okay? Isn't it amazing that Jesus explains the calm around the throne before the chaos? Isn't that interesting? The future starts in chapter 4 and 5 with heaven and everything. So, basically this, and I'll animate it for you. 1 through 3 is the church on earth. They're raptured, the word that's not in the Bible, uh, but the truth is. They come before the Bema seat. I'm going to talk about that in a little while. While they're up there, the, the anvil, the, the hammer strikes the anvil, ended by the, the second coming of Christ, who comes to rule for a thousand years. And the word millennium is not in the Bible, but a thousand years is six times. I heard you say it. And the rebellion, great white throne, and heaven. So really, what is chapters two and three? Well, one, and then in the next few classes, two and three all about what does God want his church to do as the earth dies? By the way, you know the earth is dying. You know that, that there are earthquakes in the strangest places. You know that, I mean, and we can blame it on fracking in Oklahoma. They're doing it, you know, or Texas, you know. It's, that's what's, it doesn't matter what's precipitating it. The reality is, no matter what anybody says, the earth is dying. I mean, there are, there are less fish, there are less, there's less breathable air. Did you know that, that birds fall out of the sky in Mexico City because the air is so polluted and they have such little lungs if they breathe it too long while they're flapping along, it just kills them and they... It's terrible. That's what's going on in our world. So what are we supposed to do? Save the birds? Is that what God... There's nothing wrong with taking care of your animals. But what... What was the mandate that our Redeemer gave us as his church? See, that's, that's what we're looking at. 